So Michael, we talked about that networking is an important part in the job search. A lot of times people find jobs through networking. That's how I got my first HR job. And a lot of time people say your network is your net worth because uh, people will introduce to each other and that's how people are helping. And sometimes I also heard recently in terms of the Canadian experience, what recruiters were referring was more uh, you don't have networking or you don't have experience working in a Canadian marketplace. So in that sense, what tips you have in terms of how to start networking, why it's important? Is there any strategy to network on LinkedIn? You know, this is uh, top of mind for me because I just coached a gentleman uh, by the name of Dr. Daniel Halleck through his first TEDx talk. Mm -hmm. And he talked about networking. Mm -hmm. His talk was on the the power of networking and how if you are if you feel gross as you try to network, you're doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. And and what he meant by that was when we think of networking as a transaction to get something out of someone, that's where it, we can hit roadblocks. That's where it can feel gross or or flat out dirty. <laughs> um, that's where it doesn't pay off for us in the ways that we hope and and would love for it to mm -hmm. pay off. And, and by it, I mean networking. Yeah. So it is a mindset shift when you network positively. It is, what can I bring to this situation that would add value for someone else? Mm -hmm. Even if I am... You know, a uh, you know, a poor college student looking for my first job out of college or out of university. Yes, you still have skills, talents, abilities that you can bring to someone else. You just have to give of those things mm -hmm. without an expectation of reciprocation. Yes, it's it's the thing that we want the most <laughs> is often the thing that. Um, we can't immediately go after, which is, you know, we want that job referral. We want that introduction to that hiring manager, of course. Yes. But if we go in with that expectation, we often will fall short. Mm -hmm. And so what I what I would say is um, if you are wanting to network on LinkedIn, be judicious about who you target, who you go after in terms of who you want to network or connect with on LinkedIn look at their profile, yes. look at what they're posting about, the things that they care about outside of their job, mm -hmm. find a way to tell a story or insert yourself into, into that world with them or, or ask, look, listen, ask them questions about what it is they like. Yeah. We love talking about ourselves. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> As a former journalist, I can advocate for that. Whenever I ask people questions, they love talking about themselves. So at the very least, get people talking yep. and then be pay attention for ways that you can invest in others so that over time, people can begin to invest in you. It's a longer game, no yeah. doubt. Yeah. But it is it is far, far more worth the investment than trying to game people for your own benefit. I always tell the students I'm uh, coaching at the university that you need to start networking from now and not before three months when you're graduating. Put Absolutely. those seeds, uh, uh, identify maybe 10 companies that you want to work, identify key people, reach out to them. And again, as you've mentioned, first check their profile check their activities, make, me, make comment. And then when you're sending them connection requests, personalize it and say, hi, Michael, I know that you posted this article, very interesting, I'd like to know more. Or again, as you may ask questions, it's all about them, not about you. Build those relationships. And after a while, when an opportunity comes in that company, you can say, hey, Michael, by the way, I saw that you guys are hiring can you tell me more about the company or can you refer me to the hiring manager? And that's how the power of networking will be uh, will be implied. Meher, I believe if you've, if you've ever heard of the podcaster Jordan Harbinger, I believe this is what he says all the time. Dig the well before you are thirsty. Yes. Put in the work before you need the job so yeah. that you can go get a drink. When, uh, whenever the time arises, so to speak. <laughs> I totally agree with you. And again, if you have, uh, for the listeners, if you have any other tips in terms of networking, again, leave them below and tune in next time for my final question with Michael.